Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have some project shares. I thought I would show you what I've been working on lately and show you all the different materials that I use to create them. Um, I've been making a lot of cards. Um, this time of year is when it starts to be like birthday season in my family. And I've also been making some Halloween cards and some tags. So I thought I would just show you guys everything I'm doing. And I've been watching Jill Norwood. Hi, Jill, if you're watching. I love how she shows what she's working on. She shows all the different things that she used and then she shows the you know tag or card or whatever. So I'm gonna try that today. Hopefully it works out. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first card I made is a birthday card and um, I used Distress Oxide in Shaded Lilac to do the um, outside inking. I use this stamp set from Fiskars, and actually I only use this one that says, Oh Happy Day. Uh, Fiskars, um, I like them for scissors. Their stamps don't usually work out so great for me, so I use them sparingly, but um, this worked out fine. So I use that one. I use this tag from Lawn Fawn. This is called the uh, something stars, circles and hearts and stars skinny tag. Uh, I don't know, it's covered up, but you could see. So I use the tag part. Um, I use this set. This is a new one for me. This is called Stitch Trails. And this, these are cute little trails, that one kind of slid over, that just indent or just die cut into your page. Um, it doesn't cut anything out, you know, and it just leaves a trail. So it's really fun to use for, you know, things that are flying. I used this bird die, and I gotten this from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Um, I don't, I think it was in like one or two rounds ago of their clearances. So I just used that bird. I used the outside border of this tonic die set. Um, this one is called "You Make the World Go Round" die set. And um, this is a nice big, like five by seven size, so that's why I used it because I did make the card five by seven. I used these clouds. These are from Allie. If I have the uh, link still, I've, I've had these for a long time, but if it's still available, I will link it down below. Actually, I'll, I'll link all the things I've gotten online down below if I um, if I have a link. Okay. And I just left it on this uh, page. I just took it out of one of my albums to uh, to show you guys. But I love these clouds. They're stitched and they come in different sizes. You could turn them upside down, whatever. So yeah, I used that. And this is the paper that I used for the main part of the card. Um, I had gotten this, I'm pretty sure from scrapbook.com. It says Memory Place, uh, made in Japan. I will link this down below if I can. It's a beautiful paper. I remember it came in different colors when I bought it. Um, nice double-sided. See, there's like clouds with uh, like kind of like paint splatters on one side. And this side is stars. And it has some like little gold stars in the background. Not boiled, but gold. So yeah, really pretty. Um, paper. Oh, and I also use this. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is Glimmer Mist from Tattered Angels. I got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I don't even know if they still sell this, but um, I have a bunch of different colors. This one is called Pearl. Oops, let me get in frame. So I sprayed this onto the card, um, uh, onto the paper before I added my embellishments. So let me show you what I made. I showed it on Instagram. You might have seen it there. So the base of this is actually a, um, I just cut a piece of cardstock out in five by seven, just like a turquoise uh, paper that I got in a pack from Michaels. Um, that's the bird that I was talking about. I also sprayed that with the glimmer mist. See how the card is so pretty and pearled. I love that glimmer mist. It's really fun. And the trails are really cool. I thought it would look like, you know, kind of going off and then coming back from the bird dragging the banner behind it. I did use a little piece of purple and white twine to connect the bird and the banner. Oh, and I also used some gold foil paper. Um, that was from Sizzix, I believe, in that um, gold stack that I got. And this is little polka dot paper I had in my stash, too. Um, yeah, and this paper, actually, this is one of the new Sizzix papers, the um, 
uh, the Mystical, I think it's called, the Opulent pack. And um, yeah, I just used that. And I actually did a little inking on this too, just to kind of make the, the bottom of the bird a little darker so it would look a little bit more dimensional. And I inked these clouds as well as the border with that shaded lilac. So isn't that pretty? Just like a, you know, birthday card or whatever. I didn't put anything on the inside, but the base of the card is actually a five by seven card base that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use a pre-made envelope that I also got from Hobby Lobby. So that's the first one. And oh, I wanted to tell you that I heat embossed the Oh Happy Day um, with some gold embossing powder that I got from Michaels, which is my favorite. So yeah. That's that project. Let's move on to the next one. It's another birthday card. Okay, this one I used um, these shape sprinkles from Doodlebug, Peppermint Twist. I love these. I forget where I got them. I've had them for a long time, but um, yeah, they're, they come in handy a lot when you're making like candy themed things, you know, birthday, even gingerbread. I use some stickles. I use diamond stickles. I like this one a lot. It's got a nice iridescent finish to it. I used paper from this paper pad. This is from Pebbles and it's called Happy Hooray. Lots of like fun birthday kind of prints. I actually have two pads of this. So the other one is really empty, but um, so that's why I'm showing you this one. I had to pull some papers from both. I used this die set. This I had just gotten from Hobby Lobby. I haven't even had a chance to haul it yet, but I used this particular one. This is from Momenta. Love doily dies. And I also used this one, which I also got from Hobby Lobby um, just very recently. And I love this cupcake set. That's what it looks like. And what's really cool is you pull out the uh, cupcake and you can like stamp or something, you know, put a sticker on the bottom of it. So it's kind of an interactive card. So that's why I wanted to make this one. Um, I also used this little stamp set that I got at Michael's a long time ago. They might still have them in the front. But um, yeah, these make teeny tiny little letters. I use these all the time. Great, like one of my favorite things in my craft room. Um, I think that is it for this card. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the card I made. It is a six by six card. And I did use um, paper from here. Was it from here or I'm pretty sure it was from there, maybe from the other pad. But um, I used that for the um, base of the card. Okay, sorry I got interrupted, but let's go back to looking at this card. Um, I forgot where I stopped, but I think we were just starting to take a look at this. Um, for this paper, I um, this was actually just like a basic polka dot that I had in my stash. So I just rounded the corners with my corner rounding tool. And um, that's where I put the stickles around there. So you can see that there are the doodle bug stickers. There's the doily I cut out of the cupcake paper. I popped that up a little bit on some dimensional tape. And here's the cupcake from that cute uh, stamp set from, or die set from Spellbinders. So um, you don't, it doesn't come with anything that says pull, even though the back says, if you see the examples, it says pull on the leaf of the flower and on the cherry. So that's why I got out my little stamps. So you just, um, pull it out and then I stamped best best wishes there and embossed that with gold uh, again which I tend to do for everything so the best wishes came from I think that came from that same stamp set that I used for the oh happy day but um yeah isn't that cute I did some little bit of inking on the edge of the cupcake with vintage photo distress oxide um, this is actually a new glitter paper that I just got from Tonic Studios. What is that? Let me, hold on one second. Let me get that one. Just in case you're wondering what kind of glitter I used, it's called Sugar Crystal. Um, I was hoping it would be like just a plain white glitter, but it's not. As you can see, it's got, you know, different colors in the, in the, in the white. It's hard to find plain white glitter paper. But anyway, I think it looks cute there, so... Yeah, that's my other birthday card. This is a six by six, and I think it came out super cute. Could you could be used for a boy or a girl. I think it's, you know, pretty neutral that way. All right, let's move on to the next project. So for the next projects, I wanted to make some tags. I just 
got this from Hobby Lobby clearance. I was so happy to find this. I was hoping that um, this would be available in my Hobby Lobby on clearance, and they did have one left. So I picked this up. This is the Sizzix Nine Dies for uh, three, what is that? 424. And this is tags number three, and it comes with all sorts of different sizes and shapes of tags. Some are stitched, some are scalloped. Very nice set. I also use this again. I used uh, this die set. I love the little cutouts of like the flowers on the edge. And then I used the stamp set that I also got at Hobby Lobby. And this was reduced to $2.49 from Hampton Art. All these different like cooking themed tags. So, or, you know, stamps that you can make into tags. So I thought these would be great to make for Christmas gifts. I got a little uh, paper in there. Um, or just anytime you're giving like a homemade goodie to somebody. So let me show you the ones that I made. This was the biggest one I made. I thought this came out adorable. I used some like, um, what is this color called? It's an embossing powder from Michaels, I believe. It's like a like a teal color that's really nice and shiny. I love that one. I got these spoons from Sugar Sunrise on Etsy. I'll link them down below. They came in a huge pack with different colors. I just put these on a little garment pin that I tucked under this bow. And this bow I had in my stash. I had made a bunch of bows a while ago. I got the die set from Allie. Um, I know Nicole designed this one and I love it. It's just such a pretty uh, and well-designed uh, bow die. So I'll link that down below as well. I stitched around the outside with some teal metallic thread that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And I did add some Nouveau drops too, just to add a little uh, dimension. This is a little teeny tiny polka dot from Doodlebug for the tag itself. I added some ribbon from Hobby Lobby that I just got on clearance. And the back is just, um, I backed it with some white cardstock. So yeah, I thought that came out adorable. Of course, a buttons galore button for the middle. All right, here's another one. Whoops, we'll do this one, I guess. So this one, I love this stamp. It says, cooked just for you. The, um, the tough thing about the stamps that are filled in like this, um, you gotta make sure that your paper is really well inked with your embossing pad. Um, but besides that, it was pretty easy to do, and the gold is very forgiving. So I love this one. I think it's so cute. I just added a little ribbon that I tied myself into a bow. Um, I added a, a tiny eyelet as well and put on this twine, and that'll be really cute, I think, on a homemade gift at the holidays or whenever, but I give out homemade gifts at the holidays. All right, here's one for, with the... Uh, this one says Baked with Love, that's that stamp. And this one I used some black, it's not just black, you can see like some colors in there. This was an embossing powder. I think the first one I ever bought from Michaels. And I think it came out really cute. You, you could see those little heart cutouts, not heart, flower cutouts. And I put gold paper behind it just so you could really see those pretty flowers. And I added a black eyelet, some yellow organza uh, ribbon, or sheer ribbon from Dollar Tree, I believe, and the back is just plain. So I'd love that one too. You could see there's a color theme going on here. And then here's this one, Made with Love. Again, I used the gold embossing powder, but I did add some Nouveau drops for the end of the rolling pin once everything was dry. Just I just liked a little contrast there. And uh, yeah, this is Doodlebug Paper too. this yellow and white plaid, and this it has like kind of raised dots on that teal paper. That's Basil from Joann's. Again, with the yellow ribbon, a white eyelet, some yellow and white twine. Super cute, right? All right, here's another one. This one, this one is not my favorite, but it says homemade, but I really don't like how the um, uh, embossing powder is kind of spotty there. I don't know, it just doesn't look nice to me. And my Nouveau drops are not even, so I'm probably not gonna use this one. But anyway, I thought I'd show you any uh, anyway. <laughs> and I did some inking around the edges. I do like how that looks. And added an eyelet and some very thin ribbon there. 
Here's another teeny one. This one I think came out cute. So it's handmade with love and I did a little inking around the sides, added a tiny eyelet and that same ribbon. So this one's really tiny, but I think it's cute. This would be nice like on a, uh, like a small jar of jam. My husband does canning, so that would be good for a gift of that. I don't do that kind of thing. He's the expert in our house on that. All right, so let's move on to the next project. Oh, I wanted to show you the envelope I made too. This goes to the um, the cupcake uh, card. I used my We Are Memory Keepers, uh, what's it called? Um, hold on one second. I'll it's it. called the 123 Punch Board, and I use this all the time to make envelopes, little gift boxes. I haven't used it to make bows, but um, I use it all the time for envelopes. So, super easy. If you're looking for a tool to make envelopes look nice, I definitely recommend that. Okay, so let's go on to our next projects. The next ones are all Halloween related. So my order from A Cherry on Top, the uh, Frank Garcia 31 finally came in, so I had to go ahead and start crafting with it. Okay, so here's what I used for my first Halloween card. Um, I used one of these little ghosty, no, not this one, that's a skull. I used this go ghost, it was a uh, cupcake topper that I'd gotten at, I think, Home Goods last year. And these are by Mary Mary, they're party picks, and I just, I got them for paper crafting. So the ghosts are kind of like vellum. And then it has cute pumpkins and skeletons or skulls and witches. So I used a ghost for that, for this one. I used one of these little um, stickers from Target, the Sprit sticker bucket. I think this one is from, yeah, from 2020, so last year. This, these are great if you can find these. I don't know if they have them again this year, but you get so many of them, lots of different colors and shapes and images, really, really cute. So I used one of those. I used this embossing folder that I just got from Allie, um, Erica Scrap Diva, Scrap Diva 29. Hi Erica, if you're watching, she had shown a project where she used a dots embossing folder and I just thought it was so cute. So I went ahead to Allie to find one. So I got this one. I'll link it down below. I used one of these craft springs that I got from Michael's recently. I used, um, did I use these? No, these were in my next uh, card. I'll save those for later. I used some mirror card from Tonic. This one is called um, Burnished Rose, I believe. Yes, Burnished Rose. Love this color, it's gorgeous. And of course, I used some 31 paper from Frank Garcia. I love this paper pad. It's just beautiful. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Um, I will do a flip through on my haul, but uh, for now, we'll just uh, skip that and move ahead to the project. Okay, so this is the first card that I made. This is an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I layered it with lots of different elements. This is some paper that is from 31. It's got like spell books and witches hats and stuff in the back. Um, this layer is that burnished rose from Tonic that I used the embossing folder on. Um, this is um, that paper, actually, that skeleton paper, that is from this paper pad, Spooky Boo from uh, Pebbles. This I got in, I don't know, last year or the year before? Let me see if it has a year on it. You don't see one. Oh, 2018. Okay, so this is an older one, but it's got really cute, like, small patterns on it, so that's why I used it for the background there. This is a uh, cut apart from 31, so I used that. And this is the Target sticker, and I added a little Nouveau drop to his nose, I don't know why, but I put on one of those craft springs, and then I added the ghost behind him, so it just kind of like wobbles a little bit. This lace here is some of that pink lace that I dyed recently, and I added some bling from uh, Dollar Tree, I believe that pink is, and the black could be, I don't know where that's from. So isn't that cute? I love that one. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of thick, so maybe don't want to mail it, or if you do want to mail it, put it in a box with some goodies and stuff. So there was that one. Let's move on to the next card. So for this card, I used some of the puffy stickers. I should have got two of these. Um, next time I order from somewhere, hopefully they still have them in stock because these are so cute. I love them. 
I used some new dies that I just got from Allie. Um, this, they're from the same seller. I'll link them down below. This one is a Happy Halloween mini slimline card. Um, it's got the outline, plus it comes with the Happy Halloween sentiment with shadow layers, which is nice. And then uh, these came together to the slimline um, like outlines. There's a stitched one and a scalloped one. So there's that. I used some of this mirror card from Tonic. This is this one's called Black Velvet. It's a non-glossy black. I used some of this, uh, some pink glitter paper from Specialty Pinks. The uh, nice people at Michael sent this to me. So I was able to use some of the, the pink glitter. There's a bunch of different pink glitters actually. So I used, I think I used this one, okay. And then I use the 31 paper pad again. So let me go ahead and show you my card. This is the first mini slimline card I've ever made. And I think it came out really, really cute. Um, that die set cuts out all these cute little shapes and they're, they're, they come in one piece, which is really, really nice. And it cut well too. The background paper is from 31. Both those pattern papers are. There's that black velvet paper as just like a layering mat. I also use black velvet for the background of Happy and Halloween. And I use some puffy stickers. The cat is a puffy sticker. So are the candy corns, which are so cute. They have pink and orange and white and a little orange heart in the middle of the Halloween. So yeah, isn't that cute? I, I think it came out really nice. And with a mini slimline card, you don't have to like fill up so much space, you know? And this Halloween one, uh, you know, pretty much makes itself once you cut out all the pieces. So yeah, I think that came out adorable. I can't wait to send that out. And I just made the base myself with a piece of uh, cardstock. So there's that one. Uh, let's get on to our last Halloween project. Okay, for this card, I used some black thread. This is like really thick thread from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I got it either at Zoo Lily or Hobby Lobby. So I used that to tie some bows. I used the Sugar Crystal Glitter cardstock again from Tonic. I used the Burnished Rose Glitter or Mirror cardstock from Tonic. I used a little bit of this paper. This is a matte stack called Halloween. This was from Joann's that I got uh, 2019. Okay, and that's all the different papers it has. So cute, I love that one. This is a new die set or a couple new die sets from KS Craft on AliExpress. I will link them down below. They have cute uh, new like baking themed ones out. One is this cute oven, I love it. And then some sentiments with, uh, you know, cooking theme. There's bakes, sweet stuff. Kiss the Cook, and uh, is that Sprinkled with Love? Or, yeah, I think so. So um, I used the bake one and the oven. I also used this little pumpkin that I got in a set. I'm not, I think it came with the pie set, but I will also link that down below. I just took out this sheet from one of my albums. This was in one of my kitchen uh, dye themed albums. So anyway, use that little pumpkin. And then I used this paper pad from DCWV that I just got in the mail from Joann's. And I love this paper pad, you guys. I did a flip through on my last haul. It's beautiful. Um, it's just, I yeah, can't say enough about it, but let's move on to my project. So this is what I made. It's a cute little like Halloween themed kitchen card, I think. I really don't know what you would send this for. <laughs> it's not really a Halloween card, but I don't know, just a thinking of you kind of card, I guess. But anyway, the stove, you could see I made into a shaker and I added some little cookie um, clay bits that I got from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. And also I added some different like pink and white and yellow and white shaker bits that I had in my stash, just like different sizes and shapes. Oh, and little like cream diamond dots too. I love that little pumpkin paper, paper back there that is from um, Halloween Party. Um, this is a wood shape that I got, um, I think it was from Hobby Lobby when they had Halloween stuff or Joann's. They were unfinished and I had painted it and put some glitter on it. So I just took that out and I backed it with some of that burnished rose cardstock. There's that thread. I made a few different pumpkins with that 
uh, die I told you guys about and I stacked them up. I also cut them out of foam too to give them some dimension. Isn't that cute, that little paper with the tiny little skull with the bow in her hair? Well, what would be her hair? <laughs> and there's big, it kind of looks like Barbie to me, doesn't it? I think that's like the same font as Barbie. But I love how the outline is stitched. I just love that. And um, I just think the oven is so cute. I made the oven mitt with, um, I think this is from, yeah, this is from Halloween Party 2, that paper. And I did a little bit of inking on the outside with sponge sugar, just to, I don't know, make it look like a, you know, actually used um, oven mitt. Um, another pumpkin from, that was from the, um, the Halloween paper stack. And these background papers are from Halloween Party as well. The, the bottom one I cut out with a like an edge die that I have from Allie. I've had for a long time. I use it all the time when I'm doing like floors. And I just thought that orangey one looked like wallpaper. So, and that uh, bat paper is also from that matte stack. These black uh, stars are from, they're from a sticker pack, I think from Sticko. But yeah, isn't that cute? I, I don't know what it's for really, but it's my favorite. So, <laughs> and I just put it on some um, light pink cardstock that I made into a card. So yeah, those are all my projects that I've been making lately. Um, I was on a roll of making cards. When I first started paper crafting, I started with cards. That's my first love. And um, I haven't been making that many lately, so I missed it. So once I got started, I couldn't stop. And of course I did make these tags too. Tags and cards, that's, that's what I love to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, um, watching this video, seeing what I used and kind of my thought process on how to put them together. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to link as many products as I can uh, in the description box. So thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another crafty video. Take care. Bye guys.